Hi, this is Glenda. Uh, so I've had a few queries about um, my do-it-yourself little mini stamp pad, um, mini stamp pads that I made. Um, uh, the first one is, what is the container? Well, this is the first one I did, and it's um, a beading container. So it has, uh, I think it's 24 little um, containers with a lid so that they screw on um, and of course you store them in your tray like that. Um, so what I've done is I'm storing them upside down um, to keep the ink in where the, the foam is and I've simply cut a little circle of the foam, glued it in with hot glue and then added my re-inker. All of um, I have full size pads for all of these, so this, these are distress inks that can just go straight in my bag that I take places uh, and it can live there. So the foam is cut and dry foam by Ranger, it comes in a purple packet like this. Um, it is stamp pad foam, that's what it's made for. And this is what it looks like, it's two layers, it has um, this white softer layer and a firmer brown layer. Um, so that's the top where you put your ink and that's the side where you would put your glue and it comes in an A4 sheet. I don't remember exactly how much but it's around the $10 mark in Australia and you easily get enough to do two containers like that. Um, you know because you're only cutting an inch square, a, a, a circle that's sort of less than an inch probably for these containers. So the second one I did, I got these ones, they're also a beading container, this one holds 12 and the little bottles are deeper um, and you don't need them to be deeper so as far as travel goes um, I prefer these, these were a lot cheaper, this cost me, well I got it on special for $10 but the normal price is 20 um, so, as I say, these are deeper, but well, they will work. Um, it just means that you've got a slightly, you know, you're carrying around some air in your containers, basically. Um, and it occurred to me that what I could do is get the colours I didn't already have. Um, so I could have all the colours for the price of the re plus a container and some foam. So it it's a lot cheaper because if I got the little re little the little squares I would still want the reinkers so for me this worked and it, then you've got it in the container to take places and it occurred to me I could use other ones anything you've got a reinker for you can make a little stamp pad so that's a stampin up one that I've got the full size pad for home but I can take the color with me if I want to and uh, of course the white um, gouache paint that I showed the other day um, so my daughter got me the rest of the colours that I didn't have for my birthday and I hadn't, I was two spaces short on these so what I did, I went out and bought some matching ones. So I've redone the ones that I had in the, the larger container and I now have all my Tim Holtz distress inks um, that I can take with me. So that one can live in my bag these ones, some of them I've got the full size pads, but most of them I've only got the um, this homemade one. So we'll see how we go, but now I've got the smaller containers. So these ones are, um, I paid $8. It's, they scanned at 10 but the shelf said 8 so I got them for $8 each. Um, but that means they can sort of live at home and just be popped into my bag when I need to. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping that's answered the questions. You know, you're cutting a circle of this, hot gluing it in, putting it in the little beading container and adding your re-inker. I've labelled them all with their name and a little colour sample. I mean, obviously you can do it much neater than that, but it serves the purpose. Um, so hopefully that's answered any questions that, that people have had. A, f a few people have been interested. Uh, I thought I had shown these earlier, but apparently I hadn't. Um, so... Hopefully that helps. Um, thanks for watching.